Now, the military pact with India is just one piece of the pie, as we told you. The United States is working with more allies, arming China's rivals and conducting military drills to counter the Chinese military offensive. Our next report tells you what America is up to in Asia. On Monday, the Japanese helicopter carrier Kaga welcomed some visitors. These giant military planes are American. Soldiers of the U.S. Defense Forces were on deck. With their Japanese counterparts, they kicked off the keen sword exercise. A military drill on land, sea and in the air. It involves dozens of warships, hundreds of aircraft and 46,000 soldiers, sailors and marines from both sides. This is a show of force. In the face of the Chinese military buildup in the East China Sea. Not too far away from these waters lies Taiwan, another American ally that faces the threat of a Chinese military invasion. Here too, the United States is pitching in by arming Taiwan with advanced weaponry. U.S. defense companies are undeterred by Chinese sanctions. More deals are being closed. The latest one is for 100 Harpoon coastal defense systems. This includes 400 land-based missiles capable of striking Chinese ships. The agreement is worth $2.4 billion. This comes after Washington approved several weapons deals worth $1.8 billion. China responded by sanctioning three major American defense contractors. Now Beijing is threatening more action. Taipei remains resolute. American weapons will bring peace, it says. The purchase of these weapons will enhance Taiwan's credible combat capabilities and asymmetric combat capabilities. This will also enhance our overall combat capabilities to contribute to maintaining peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. American weapons are not the only thing that Beijing should worry about. Earlier this year, the Trump administration decided to step up its deployments in Asia. Reports say several thousand troops will be redeployed to American bases in Guam, Hawaii, Alaska, Japan and Australia, the Indo-Pacific theater. India is taking the lead for the next major military engagement, the Malabar exercise. For the first time, the drill will feature Australia alongside Japan and the U.S. In New Delhi, U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper hinted at a deeper defense collaboration with India against China. The defense ties between our two nations remain a key pillar of our overall bilateral relationship. Based on our shared values and common interests, we stand shoulder to shoulder in support of a free and open Indo-Pacific for all, particularly in light of increasing aggression and destabilizing activities by China. Asian countries are standing up to Chinese military aggression. America is backing them up with weapons, deployments, drills and intelligence. The military pushback against the PLA's aggression has begun. Bureau report, we on World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching Rion, World is One.